Hi guys, uh, today I have a project share uh, featuring the Coco and Reno Welcome Home die set. That is the set right here. Um, I use practically every die except two. And so I will show you what I made. And I will put all of Coco and Reno's information below if you're interested in checking them out. Um, and so this is what I made using their dies. It's a, a little flip book. Uh, made with uh, Project Life cards. I thought I have so many Project Life cards that you know I should try to use some of them up and I thought it would be really neat to try and die cut some of this paper. You know use it just like paper. And so um, this is what I made. And so this first page here says Dream Big and I used their little keys here. Um, they have a couple of key dies. Here's one of them. Uh, um, and here's the other one and they're so cute. They have such cute detail on them And so I, I sewed a couple of them across here. I made them in gold or cut them in gold and uh, Dream big goes along with this This theme I have here because you know, I'm dreaming big because someday I would love to have a French Chateau style home and so that is my dream and I'm dreaming big that someday I get that and um, so that's my title page here, my title cover. I attached, I don't know if you could see down on here, but I put a little, uh, what is this called? This uh, jumpering like thing down here to hold, you know, like a key ring. And then I tied some ribbon on there and glued on a little flower with a little gem there. And I thought this one turned out so cute and I did stitch around all of my, my pages. And I also backed them all with some heavyweight cardstock. And so, um, yeah, they're all plain on the back. So here's the next page here. Um, this one I made a pocket. So this was this is like a library card uh, pocket. And so I thought because my Project Life card said the story, I thought that would be cute that you could write down, you know, your story of, of your home. And you could um, stick it down in here and save it. And so this is what this one looks like. And this is where I used their die, this house die here. And I used another one of the keys. Also stitched around this. And this is just a die from my stash. And then I embossed it. So it's got a, a rose pattern embossing on it. Um, this is a ribbon rosette that I made using my clover rosette maker that I found it Tuesday morning recently and so the next page looks like this and so this is the jar die and it looks like this and it's very intricate and so I wanted to show you how how I managed to adhere this on is I, I use these sheets here from scrapbook.com they are double sided a adhesive sheets and I just took one of those sheets and I covered it with my gold paper and then when I ran my die through that it leaves adhesive sticker on the back side and so when you stick it you know when after you die cut it and you go to stick it on you don't have to use glue it just sticks on like a sticker and so that's a really really neat thing to have for some of these dies because they're so intricate and um, I thank Erica Scrap Diva 29 for that, that little um, idea. And so here I also use the little uh, stars that cut, cut out of that little house. So when you use this die, you, you get little stars. And so I just stuck them inside this little jar. I did use some Nouveau drops here. And my Nouveau drops aren't working that well. They're kind of thick, I guess. And so they don't come out very good. So kind of disappointed in that and I also want to point out that I um, made these little hole reinforcers just out of gold paper and and some punches so that's that what that page looks like and this one I kept really simple and so they have this little cactus in a cup and um, I'll show you what that looks like. It looks like this here. 
and I'm not a big fan of cactus. It's not my favorite, but this one turned out so stinking cute. And you know, and I die cut this out of a out of a Project Life card, and I don't remember. Um, I don't remember the name of that that set, but um, it's not from this set. It's not the things notes and things set. It's a different set. So I used one of my mom's little doilies that she made for me, and I layered this up so that it's it's like three layers thick. I don't know if you can see that. So it's nice and sturdy like a chipboard. And I was able to put like some little the little red pieces that that pop out here. I was able to when you when you cut your die, if you'll put some double-sided tape on the back. Then when you go to put in these little pieces like this, you can just put them in there and they'll stick to that double-sided tape. And so that's how I was able to, to get these little colors in here. So that one turned out super cute. Really like that one. Put some wrinkled up ribbon behind there. And so here's the next one. I used a couple of dies on this one. So the little house up here at the top looks like this and it's one of the intricate pieces too but instead of uh, using the the adhesive sheets I just put glue on that it did get a little messy here on the side but I managed to get it off pretty good so that was kind of tricky and then the little mugs here they're so stinking cute so here's one of them and I did cut this out of Project Life cards too and um, the little heart punches out of the middle and so I replaced that with like a, I cut it twice once with gold paper and then once with that and um, I put the little gold heart inside there I did double it up though so it is pretty thick it's got some um, or it's tripled up so it's got some heavyweight cardstock behind it and um, let me see I'm going to show you the other the other coffee cup it looks like this super cute and so these little things here cut out and so if you cut out two cut out you cut out I like I cut out this one in red and then I cut out the pink and then I put behind the red piece I put a piece two pieces of double-sided tape and then I took the little these little pieces here that pop out I took those out of the pink that I cut out and just stuck them down in there and that double-sided tape grabs them and holds them in and I also layered it up with a uh, um, heavyweight cardstock and this one does have some foam tape behind it so it's popped up a little bit put a little bow from Hobby Lobby there super cute got some Nuvo drops and this one here is my last page it's the let's stay home and I did use the uh, scrapbook.com adhesive sheets on that one and the die looks like this. Let's stay home. And so, yeah, it, that stuff sticks pretty good. It's stuck on there really well. Let me see if I can hold this a different way. And so, here is one of the houses right here. Cut it out. And then I just cut out a little piece of vellum and back the windows. So, it comes with these two house dies. They're super cute. And then I just put some strips of ribbon and um, a piece of paper and stitched around it or stitched down the middle of it and stitched my house to it. So, and that's it. That's the last page. I um, tied some real cute trims and ribbons on here to match, to coordinate. And that's my cute little book. And I, I think it turned out super neat. Um, using Project Life cards, you know, and using them to die cut with also. And so, yeah. Um, thanks for watching my video, and I'll put all of Coco and Reno's information below. And I'll see you on my next one. Okay, um, I thought maybe I should clarify. I was watching my video back, and I don't think that what I said when I was talking about how I made this, I don't think it made much sense. Sorry. Um, I don't think it made much sense. So I thought maybe I would show you how I made this one, this uh, cactus in a cup. So the first thing I did was um, die cut these two out. 
So this is the top part of my cactus and this is going to be my mug. And so what I did was I cut this part off like this so that I have the cup. And um, on the back side of my cup here, that's where I put the double sided tape. Um, I think I didn't make a lot of sense when I was talking about it on my video. It made it sound like I put it on before I die cut. And that's that's not how I did it. I did it like this. Well, that piece isn't very long. Let me move that one. And so, yeah, I put strips of adhesive, double-sided tape on the back of my cup. I'm sorry, I'm just crazy today. Like this. And so that helps to hold the the tiny pieces in in the center of your die, your die cut. Okay. I hope this is making sense. So I wanted to clarify that. Show you my process of how I did that. Okay, so now we have, so now there's um, double-sided tape here on the back of this. And then just take your other piece, line them up, and adhere them. Like this. And then I um, die cut the red here. And how I got my little pieces off was took my little pick here and I tried to keep those where they belong they're probably all the same so if you get all mixed up it's probably okay and then I took this little thing here that's got these little it's kind of tacky on the end when it's clean and just stick it on the, the tip of this I don't know if I'm in frame or not and uh, and then just stick them on here like this and that's how they they stick on so yeah anyway I just wanted to clarify that because that didn't make a lot of sense in my video so yeah and just just keep tacking them on and then to layer this up again you could um, cut it with some thicker cardstock and just glue it on the back and that would make it super thick like chipboard